Hello again. Today we will be discussing about OED speaking and a type of role play card that is unique in nature as we have been, you know, like showing some of the cards you know, for you people to understand how to start the card appropriately. This series of videos that we are making these days will be focusing on how to start the card. For example, in the last video for the OET, we have discussed about a scenario and we have guided you how to start a card. Why? Why we have started this video? Although it's late, quite late, but over the last seven years, I have trained, I don't know, like many doctors, and I know they have been practicing in UK, Australia, Ireland, and USA. But during the phase, they, when they were practicing for the OED exam, the most difficult part for them would always be to start the card appropriately if it is different from the normal card. If you do start the card with wrong formality, you will be penalized for the false start. For the sake of example, there is a card from the OET medicine that you can see on the screen right now. So you can read this card for two minutes maybe, and then you can pause this video and tell me how would you start the card in the comment section. And now if you have uh, read this card and you had recorded this conversation, you can add it down in the comment section. We'll give you the answer for that. Now I would like to tell you that what would be the false start. People normally start this card in this way. Hello, my name is Dr. Mohsin. I'm a doctor over here. How can I help you? It can be a false start, not appropriate start. The much better approach would be, in this case would be, Hello, my name is Dr. Mohsin. I'm one of the surgical resident in this operation that is sued. I was informed that you have some concern regarding the surgery, so I'm here to discuss all of the concern with you. So please feel free to ask me if you have any concern. So this would be a right start when it's come to the content. Obviously, we have to work on the uh, tone and the empathy to be adjusted in the scenario, right? Anyhow, I'm just giving you the content for that. Now, we move, we'll move on toward the next type of card that is for OET nursing part. So right now on the screen, you can see one of the specific, a unique card for the nursing part. And it's a kind of scenario when the patient is quite angry over here and you was uh, called here so that you can get to know what is the reason that that make the patient angry. So like now, how you would just start the card. Normally, I've seen that candidates do start this card in this way. Hello, my name is this. I'm on the staff nurse over here. How can I help you? Again, it's a false start. So you can start this card in this way. Hello, my name is this. Let's say you can tell your name. I'm the staff nurse over here. So you just ring the bell. I was informed that you have some concern and reservation. Please, I'm here for your concern and reservation. In this card specifically, patient might shout on you. He or she would show the aggression. You have to find out the reason for that. Then you have to empathize. Mr. Michael, please give me an opportunity. I would like to educate you in detail the reason behind the delay. Then you will mention that there was a patient and blah, and blah. But first of all, it can also be started in this way. Like, hello, my name is this. I know the staff nurse over here. I understand that you must be uh, quite concerned about you, the delay of your father's surgery. And it, it is the reason that you are quite angry at the moment. But Mr. Michael, if you can give me an opportunity, I would like to guide you in detail uh, about the reason of the delay like that. So it would be the right approach to start this card. So if you have any question, concern regarding OED speaking, you can ask us or if you want to join the course, we have very comprehensive course, including classes, which will be three week classes, followed by your mock exam. Every Friday we have a complete mock exam. And then in the last, we'll have the daily mock services. We'll give you the feedback services of writing and speaking, as you can see on the screen, and followed by the grammar class as well from Monday to Thursday, if you are a student at campus, you can join our grammar class at 3 p.m. And if you are our online student, you can join our online grammar classes at 7 p.m. So you can see this is a quite extensive course to help you out to pass your OVT exam. So what are you waiting for? Join our course so that you can pass your OVT exam in first attempt. Thank you.